guys welcome back to my channel today i'm going to be showing you guys how to make yogurt starters when i posted this video on how to make yogurt if you haven't seen that video check the card or the description box i got a lot of requests and people were asking how to make starters so this video i'll be showing you how to make your own starter but first let me explain to you what a starter is first off yogurt is actually bacterial fermentation of milk now the bacteria we use to ferment the yogurt is what we call yogurt culture or starters now the starter is actually a preparation to assist the beginning of the fermentation process so the function of the starter is actually to ferment the milk to produce lactic acid there's something in milk called lactose now this bacteria is actually going to convert those lactose and other sugars present in milk into lactic acid now the higher the lactic acid the ph is going to reduce and that is going to cause the milk to clot or form a soft gel that now produces yogurt and that's where you get the tangy taste from yogurt the softness the thickness is all from the bacteria there are several ways to get your yogurt starter or your yogurt culture in the last video i showed you guys the easiest way to get your yogurt culture and that's just by getting previously store-bought yogurt taking about a few spoons and mixing it into your milk this video is going to show you how to make your own culture from start. So you definitely be needing some milk. Add some milk into your pan. You can use any type of milk, either liquid or powdered. Now you're going to put your pot on heat, pour your milk inside, and you want this to heat up. You do not want it to overboil, just for it to get hot enough. Once your milk is beginning to get hot and you can see some steam in the pot, turn off the heat and you're going to allow this to cool for a bit. To make your starter, you can use either of these two ingredients to achieve your own starter from scratch. The first one is the lemon. Lemon has citric acid and it definitely contains some bacteria that is going to make your milk ferment and achieve your starter. If you live in Nigeria, I would advise that you use this type of lemon, which is the imported lemon. The local lemon might not give you the results that you like. The other option is chili pepper. You can either use the red one or the green one. The red is definitely the ripe part or the ripe version of the green chili. So any of them that you have available is definitely going to work. Now you're going to take your milk and we have to do a heat test. This is just putting the milk on your wrist or any part of your skin. And if you can stay for five seconds without burning your hand, but then you can still feel the warmth or feel the heat from the milk, then it's just right. That means you don't want your milk to be too cold and you don't want it to be too hot. Now I've divided the milk in two parts because I'm going to be using the two ingredients to make starters for you to see. The first is the lemon and I'm going to be using this in the bigger bowl. You're going to use your knife to slightly cut through the lemon just a little bit and then you place the lemon facing down into your bowl of milk. You want to ensure that the milk covers at least half of the lemon. Now the next ingredient which is the chili pepper. You will need chilies that have this stem still um, on the chili this long stem is really important because they also contain some bacteria so you're going to be dipping this chili like that into the milk you don't want to take out the stem so dip it into the milk and ensure that it is properly inside your bowl of milk go ahead to cover the bowl you can either use a cling film if the bowl you're using does not have a lid just ensure that it is properly covered and there is no air peeking through from anywhere you need to store this in a warm dark place you can wrap it up in a napkin and place in your oven in your wardrobe in your cupboard anywhere that is just dark i'm going to be using this food warmer and i'm going to put a napkin inside and i'll go ahead to place the bowls of milk inside the napkin cover this and i'm going to be putting this in my cupboard I place this in a cupboard in my kitchen and I'll be leaving this for between 16 to 24 hours. It needs enough time to ferment. I 
this is after 18 to 24 hours i'm going to take the bowls out from the food warmer and let's see what they look like this is the first one the one with the chili and this is what it is looking like can you see that it has fermented properly the next one is the one with the lemon and here is what it's looking like so this is our culture this is our starter but then we're going to take out the chili from the bowl first and also take out the lemon can see that some parts are liquid and some parts it has already formed like a clot so this clot is actually what we need we do not need the liquid part of this and this is what it is looking like this is our yogurt starter or yogurt culture anyone you want to call it they are both correct so just go ahead to scoop it out and set aside Another way to strain or to separate your culture from the liquid is to use a strainer or a cheesecloth. I do not have a cheesecloth, so I'm using my strainer and I just put that into a strainer and it's going to help me separate the liquid from the starter. And here is what we have. This exactly is our yogurt starter. I'd like to mention that if you want to make your yogurt, you're not going to be using this starter directly to make a yogurt. You're going to make a first batch of yogurt and then you're going to get your own starter from that yogurt that's because the chili might have some peppery taste in the yogurt and the lemon might be a bit too tangy however i'm going to show you guys how to do it in my next video so this is what the one with the lemon is looking like it's looking a bit more runny and the one that i made with the chili is looking very firm and really thick in my next video i'm going to be using these two to make yogurt separately and we'll see if there's any difference in the two if the texture is the same if the taste is the same i'll give you guys all of the tea i hope you enjoyed watching this and i hope you found this really helpful educative and entertaining please if you haven't subscribed yet don't forget to hit the subscribe button there's a lot to learn on my youtube channel also do not forget to hit the like button share this video drop a comment in the comment section let me know what you think about this video and i'll see you in my next bye